In this video, we're going over a few more really cool examples of how to redeem Amex points like a pro. So we've got examples showing you how to go to Italy in luxury, as well as how to get over to Japan by flying what many people say is the best business class in the world called the room on ANA. Now, even if you don't plan to go to either one of these places right now, the hope is that this video is gonna help you guys to see how you can use your Amex points to get more value for travel compared to just cashing out points or booking through the Amex portal. And that's a common mistake that I see a lot of people make. So I've got plenty of tips and tricks throughout this video, and I'm gonna walk you through the entire process of redeeming your hard-earned Amex points for max value like we've done in some other videos as well. Now, these types of flights can cost thousands of dollars if you pay in cash, or hundreds of thousands of points if you book through the Amex travel portal. But like I've said before, transferring your Amex points out to one of the many partner programs first is the best way to book the exact same flights for a tiny fraction of the cost. And just to show you what I mean, I have a friend that just flew on the room with a a Business Class, and he paid only 27,000 points plus $230 in fees to book a ticket that was selling for over $5,000. So that values those points at a crazy 18 cents per point, and I can't wait to tell you about that later on in this video. Now, before we get to that, I figured that first we would start things off here by giving you guys a great way to travel over to Italy from the US in business class, because obviously going to Italy is a dream for so many people with all the cool cities and the cool food over there. So I've got a luxury way to fly using your Amex points over on Emirates. So this is a pretty interesting flight because Emirates is based out of Dubai, but we're flying from New York JFK to Milan, Italy, even though both the departure city and the destination city are not located in Dubai. Basically, the Airbus A380 used for this flight is gonna continue on to Dubai after stopping in Milan. So this is the perfect flight to take advantage of if you're looking to get over to Italy and at the same time experience the cool business class seats that Emirates is known for. And not only do you get large seats with aisle access and a lay flat bed, but you also get an actual onboard bar lounge that you can hang out at during the flight, which looks awesome. So flying the Emirates A380 in business class or even the more luxurious first class is an experience that many travelers want to try at some point and definitely a good option here. Now, let's say we were looking to go in mid-October later this year. So first, let's go ahead and look up the cash price as well as how much we'd have to pay in points through the Amex portal so we can go ahead and then find a better deal. So if we search for flights from New York JFK to Milan, Italy on October 19th and do business class and one way so that way we have more flexibility than round trip, then we could just hit search and we'll find that the cheapest business class flight on this day is for $2,000. $768. Now, if for some reason we had millions of Amex points and all we knew how to do was cash them out at a terrible rate of 0.6 cents per point as a statement credit to cover charges on our Amex card, then what we could do is first we could pay for this $2,700 flight using our card. And then we could basically turn around and redeem a ton of points at 0.6 cents per point to cover the cost of that flight. But if we do some quick math, that would cost over 461,000 Amex points to do that, which is obviously the worst option that most people know not to do. But then if we look in the Amex travel portal next, which most people think is okay, but really for expensive flights like this, it's just bad value and not really worth it. So if we look here in the portal, American Express is nice enough to knock off about 70 bucks from the price because I have the platinum card. So it's $2,696 compared to 2768 over on the Emirates website. But what we really wanna look at here is the points price. So it's gonna cost just over 269,000 Amex points to book that business class flight. And even if we value those points based on the higher price directly through Emirates, redeeming through the Amex portal here only gives us around 1.03 cents per point, which is right around the one cent per point mark that's typical through their portal. So next, let's look at the same date in October, but this time we're gonna select book classic rewards flight at the top, and then we're gonna search again for Emirates flights that are one way. And when the page loads, we could see the same exact flight in business class can be booked for 87,000 miles plus $104.20 in taxes and fees, which is a pretty good deal if you've got a bunch of Amex points. One quick note here is that this is what the current cheapest price in miles seems to be when booking this through Emirates for one way right now. But I know that it used to be a few less miles before I guess some changes were recently made. So also a good point to make here is that airline and hotel programs are always changing their prices and devaluing points. So my advice is that if you've got a trip that you're saving points and miles for, then it's okay to save for maybe a year or two. But otherwise, it's important to remember to use your points and miles when you hear about good deals that actually make sense for you. Because another mistake that a lot of people make is they basically just start stashing away their points for years and years as those points sometimes get devalued. Now, for this Emirates flight from New York to Milan, there's also some tricks that you could read about online for booking round trip tickets to sometimes find cheaper prices. So for example, I found this round trip ticket in late November, early December for 54,000 miles over there and 87,000 miles back plus taxes and fees. But that round trip business class price only seemed to be available late in the year when it's colder in Italy anyway. So just do some research on your own if you want to, but there might be ways to save just a bit on a round trip price if you're willing to fly back and forth between the same airports. Now, for just the one 
one-way price that we're gonna look at for this example, paying 87,000 Emirates miles that we can transfer at a one-to-one -one rate from 87,000 American Express points is the best deal here. So when we do the math, that comes out to be around 3.1 cents per point. And when we compare the options to book this flight with points, that would be around 461,000 points if we cashed out at 0.6 cents per point, around 269,000 points to book through the Amex portal at around 1.03 cents per point. Or finally, it would be 87,000 points plus around $104 in taxes and fees if we transfer the points. So that values those points at 3.1 cents per point, like I just said. So definitely a cool way to book this Emirates business class experience that gets you to Italy in style. Now, as you're flying Emirates business class or ANA's business class that I'm really excited to talk about next year, I highly recommend that you go ahead and get some videos of your flight experience to show off to your friends and family and over on social media. And one way that you can really level up any content that you like to upload to places like YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok is by adding the right music to the background to really engage whoever's watching. And that's where the sponsor of this portion of today's video, Epidemic Sound, comes into play. So whether you're posting your own content for fun or for a business that you're running, Epidemic Sound is my favorite option for restriction-free music that really enhances the entire look and feel of your videos. They make it super easy to search through their entire catalog of thousands of songs by filtering through things like beats per minute, genre, mood, and much more. So I know that for my own content here on this YouTube channel, Epidemic Sound has helped me to add that extra touch on certain videos that really takes my content to the next level. Now, like I said, this is restriction-free music, so whether you need a personal plan for yourself or a commercial plan for any work that you might be doing for clients, Epidemic Sound is gonna give you options so that way you'll be covered with the right license to use music from their platform in your videos without worrying about any copyright claims, which is a huge issue that you gotta watch out for. Now, luckily, since I love talking about getting great deals on travel with credit card points here on this channel, I was also able to go ahead and get a good deal for anyone to try out Epidemic Sound for the first few months. So if you use the link down below and then sign up for a monthly plan using the code DANIELBRON50, you're gonna get a 30-day free trial and then 50% off the personal or commercial plan for two months after that as well. So definitely go get some videos of your next flight or hotel stay that you book with points and then go check out Epidemic Sound to make that content even better. Now next year, we're gonna talk about flying to Japan with ANA Business Class because Japan is a really popular destination for a lot of people and ANA seems to be really highly rated for their different business class products, but it can be a little tough to find award availability depending on when you're looking to book. So I'm not going to go over a specific departure city. I'm just gonna show you how to book ANA with either their older business class product or their famous new product that's all over social media called The Room because of how much space it has. So first of all, when it comes to credit card points and miles, it really helps to be flexible when booking certain award tickets. And ANA seems to be a good example of this because as I was making this video, it was actually really hard to find award availability for business class going from the US to Tokyo, Japan. Now it was pretty easy to find economy availability if I searched a few months out. So for certain dates out of major airports like San Francisco, LA or Seattle on the West Coast or New York JFK on the East Coast, I was able to find economy saver award tickets on ANA by searching through United. Now I'm only searching on United to find award availability because it's a good tool for search. But then what I would do is I would actually book through other partner programs that Amex works with because we actually cannot transfer directly over to United with Amex points. So for award tickets, I was looking for flights operated by ANA, which you can see to the left. And then I was looking for the Economy X fare or the Business I fare, which means that this is a partner award ticket that I should be able to book through any other airline that partners with ANA. Now, two things here. So first, you can book Economy on ANA if you want to, because there is greater availability than business class, or you could just book your trip to Japan with another airline and then possibly wait for ANA award availability to open up much later on, which we'll talk more about in a minute here. And second, to book this ANA flight that we're searching for availability through United, we're actually going to be booking through Virgin Atlantic Flying Club, who's a direct transfer partner with American Express, and it costs way less in points to book ANA through Virgin than it does with some other partner airlines. So here are the published award prices for Virgin to book ANA award tickets. And these are round trip prices. So if we wanna book a one-way ticket like we're doing here in this example, we would just take the round trip price and divide by two to get the one-way price. So we can see here that from the Western US, it's gonna be 60,000 points round trip for economy, 90,000 points for business class, and 145,000 points for first class. And then it's slightly more if you're flying from the center Central or Eastern US. Dividing that by two, we get 30,000 Virgin points for ANA economy, one way from the Western US, 45,000 points for business class, and 72,500 points for first class. Now, you actually have to call Virgin Atlantic to book an ANA award ticket that you found by searching on United, but we'll talk more about that in just a minute here because obviously we still haven't found any business class award tickets yet, and that's what we're trying to do because that's obviously gonna give us the most value for our points and give us this really cool flying experience. So back to what I said earlier about being 
flexible with booking a and business class. What you might wanna do is book something in advance, whether that's economy through a and or a ticket with some other airline, just so you have some way to get over to Japan. But then as your departure date gets closer, you can actually start to monitor for a and to release additional award availability that you might be able to book to change your travel plans. What a lot of people have realized with the whole points of miles game is that in many cases, it's actually best to find award tickets really far in advance, like nine to 12 months or last minute, because that's when unsold tickets might get released as award seats within maybe a few days or a week or two before departure. So as I realized that at this time, no matter how hard I looked, I couldn't find any a and business class award tickets on United for any dates from any US airports. I started to do some research over on Reddit and found a cool site that did help me to find last minute availability. Now I'm not sponsored or affiliated with the site. And I know there's plenty of other similar sites that maybe you guys can go ahead and comment down below if you know of any better tools. But the site I found is called seats.aero and it basically allowed me to go ahead and narrow down my search by North America to Asia and then filter by Tokyo Haneda Airport. And then I basically just sorted by business class availability where the green color means that the business class award seat is nonstop and available. So today is May 3rd as I'm filming this and I found this United business class award seat available from Seattle to Tokyo on May 16th, almost two weeks away. And when I went over to United's website, I was able to confirm that this was a and business class and not from United or another airline. So to book this from the West Coast, I would just have to take note of the flight information, call Virgin and have them put that ticket on hold while I transfer over points and I should be able to book it. And since this is from the West Coast in Seattle over to Tokyo, it would cost me 45,000 Amex points that I would transfer over to 45,000 Virgin points. Now there's probably still gonna be some taxes and fees of maybe a couple hundred dollars or so, but this ticket on a and currently has a cash price of $15,149, which is ridiculously high. But since I'm an American Express Platinum card holder, when I searched the Amex portal, they were able to cut down the price of this to $8,718 or around 871,000 points. And that's a better price, but still completely outrageous for the average person to pay. Now, based on the a and cash price of $15,419, booking with 871,000 Amex points in the portal gives us around 1.74 cents per point. And that's better than usual in the Amex portal because I'm a platinum card holder and they're giving me a lower price. But again, the better way to do this is by transferring points the right way. So the steps here are to be flexible and willing to book very far in advance or last minute if needed. But since not everyone is gonna be that flexible with travel plans, the other option is to book a flight to Japan with another airline or by booking cash or an award economy ticket with a &A. Then if you start monitoring with that seats.aero website I just showed you or some other similar site out there, especially in the one to three weeks leading up to your departure, you might be able to find availability that you can book if you're willing to cancel your other ticket and the fees to do that aren't too bad. What I was basically reading other people say online was that a a award seats that are available almost a year out get booked very quickly. So your best bet might be to do an award search for your travel dates in case you see something. But if not, then again, try to be flexible and willing to book an award seat last minute if they become available. But then to book this a a business class ticket, you're gonna have to confirm that it's available with that award search by again, searching over on United. And then you're gonna have to go ahead and call Virgin Atlantic to confirm that ticket where they can hold it for you as you transfer over your Amex points to Virgin to book it. And in this example from Seattle to Tokyo, it would cost just 45,000 points one way. So compared to the cash price on a &A's website of over $15,000, that comes out to 33 cents per point plus any taxes and fees. Now that cash price through a a is highly elevated and not too hard to find it cheaper through other third party websites like Expedia, where I found the price to be a little over $11,000. But still the point here is that this is a very expensive ticket. So Virgin a a with this sweet spot is a great deal for only 45,000 Amex points from the West Coast in the US. And if we wanna compare the options we had to book this, we could use our Amex card to pay the cash price of over $15,000 through Amex and then cash out over two and a half million Amex points to cover the charge. Or we could book through the Amex portal with 871,000 points and get 1.74 cents per point relative to that a a price. But of course, like we just said, the best way to book this is by transferring 45,000 Amex points over to 45,000 Virgin points, which gets us over 33 cents per point in value plus some taxes and fees. And again, that cash price through a a might be a bit inflated right now, but some people do still pay thousands of dollars in cash for these seats, so you'd be surprised. But of course, we're gonna be smarter about that and trying to find that award availability for the much better deals. However, one important detail to note here in this last minute example for Seattle, two weeks from now, is that this flight is gonna be on a Boeing 787, like you can see here on the search page for United. So that's actually the old business class on a a which we can also confirm if we're on the a a website, where we can see this seating chart where they say this here and give you a picture of what your seat is gonna look like. The newer and much cooler business class called the room is actually much more hard to come by and only available on select routes from airports like JFK or San Francisco that are sometimes 
changing. So if you're planning to fly from somewhere where the room is available, then you're gonna look out for the 777-300ER planes. And if you find availability and search on the ANA website to confirm whether you found a flight with the room, then you're gonna see this seating chart here that clearly says this is that version of ANA business class because that's what everyone wants to fly. My friend Chris recently had an amazing real world example of this when he flew from Tokyo to Honolulu, Hawaii, which is just another path the room can be sometimes found on. So he had another flight already booked with ANA in advance, but he was monitoring this travel date using one of the many award ticket tools like I talked about earlier to see if the room would become available. And sure enough, a couple of weeks out, he found it and then he booked it. So his ticket had a cash price of $5,165, but according to that published chart for Virgin Atlantic, it's only 70,000 points round trip or 35,000 points one way to book an ANA flight in business class from Japan to Hawaii. Now he could have transferred 35,000 Amex points to book this, but he actually did have some extra city thank you points laying around that he'd been saving up. And there was a 30% transfer bonus going on from city to Virgin. So we actually only had to transfer 27,000 city points to get 35,000 Virgin points that he used to book this ticket in the room that retailed for over $5,100 at the time that he booked it. And he did have to pay about $230 in taxes and fees, but the math still comes out to be over 18 cents per point in value, which I gotta say is one of the best real world examples I've seen so far this year. American Express has also done similar Virgin transfer bonuses in the past. So be on the lookout for those or any other transfer bonuses with other partner programs that typically change once every month or so, because those are really gonna boost the value of your Amex points even more. So whether you wanna fly that old ANA business class or the new one with the room, which is definitely on my list of flights that I wanna try out for myself, you wanna have at least a little bit of flexibility and you wanna also monitor and search around for award availability as well. And this might take a little bit of extra work, but you can get some insanely high value out of a redemption like this. Plus trips to Japan are in high demand right now since it just recently kind of opened up again for a lot of travel. So I thought this was the perfect example to include in this video. Now, videos like this of redeeming Amex points like a pro are going to be an ongoing series here on my channel because there's actually just so many examples out there. You can basically just leverage your credit card points and miles that you earn from everyday spending to literally save thousands of dollars on travel. Plus you can do it in style too, like the examples we talked about here in this video. So if you wanna see three more examples just like this, then make sure you go ahead and watch part one of the series in this video over here next on redeeming Amex points. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.